Head now down to the Register Building in Santa Ana with more on that story and other political news. We welcome Orange County Register reporter Norberto Santana. Roberto, nice having you with us. Ed and thanks for having me with you guys. Yeah. Norberto, kind of curious, why would the Board of Supervisors dilute their power by giving decisions like this to be made by the public, the voters? You know, in, in, in a lot of ways, this is almost the f uh, coming of a full circle for John Morlock. Uh, four years ago, when they adopted the last uh, pension enhancement, Morlock was standing in the uh, audience as the treasurer on a, a, a Tuesday trying to go through a huge document that had lots of complicated aspects of these pension deals, and these things are extremely complicated. And he complained bitterly at the time, along with many other uh, members of the public and reporters, that this thing had been sprung on the public at the last moment. Um, and he swore that if he ever got into office, he would change that. And this week, that's exactly what he did. Now, did all the Board of Supervisors go along with this? No. no uh, what well, they did, it was, a, it was a unanimous vote. But as your segment alluded to, this could have easily have been a 3-2 vote. Both Chris Norby and Supervisor Janet Wynn uh, had a lot of uh, misgivings about it. And in some ways, uh, uh, Supervisor Norby mentioned this thing, that they're basically eroding away their power. And it's kind of interesting that negotiating with the public employee unions is almost one of the last things that this board does other than adopt the, the annual budget. Uh, you know, the airport uh, debate is over. Uh, much of the development throughout the county has gone to the cities since they've been incorporated. And I do think it makes a lot of these uh, supervisors nervous. However, at the same time, in 2004, when they passed this pension enhancement, we had an unfunded liability hovering around the $1 billion mark. Uh, and the very Tuesday that they adopted this uh, package, we at the Register ran a story that had a lot of questions about the actuarial estimates that were in that deal. And lo and behold, a year later, that unfunded went from $1 billion to $2 billion. So I think that a lot of those supervisors ended up with a lot of egg on their face. Yeah. And Morlock mentioned that uh, this plan is modeled after plans that are seen in San Francisco as well as San Diego counties. Uh, talk a little bit more about those. I mean, it is somewhat ironic to have conservative Orange County following the lead of uh, liberal San Francisco County, um, but it is indeed been part of the solution in San Diego County to get them out of the morass that they're in. Um, many people that support this type of, uh, of, a, of, uh, of a plan say that it's a decent backstop. If the deal is a good deal, it will survive just like, for example, the renewal of Measure M did in Orange County. Uh, now, the public employee unions are uh, bitterly opposed to this. Um, although I anticipate that they're not going to put a whole lot of money into fighting this in the campaign because it's going to be, a, I think, a tough one uh, for this thing that, that it won't pass. Mm. Yep. And, uh, Norberto, in our last minute here, talk a bit about what happened regarding uh, the, the rates for parking at John Wayne Airport. Well, another interesting example of how your conservative Orange County is uh, a little different these days. Uh, they came up with a plan to double parking uh, and also moved uh, uh, weekly parking up quite a bit. Uh, they had approved uh, an expansion plan for the airport several years ago that rested upon coming back at some point later uh, and going with a parking increase if they couldn't uh, finance it through other means. Uh, now, two supervisors did vote against the increase in parking, but it was kind of strange in that they didn't really talk much about why they were voting against it. And it was a very sort of silent uh, uh, approval that went through. Um, but nonetheless, for a conservative board, to raise uh, fees in that way so quickly was certainly uh, surprising. Mm. Yeah, Roberto, thank you very much. Appreciate uh, your, your input on this because it's, uh, again, it's going to wind up going to the voters as we know and, and hopefully decision making will go back to where it goes one of these days. Who knows? Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Roberto. Thanks again, guys. Okay.